All right, we are like over three today, so I don't even know what to show you. What's up, P Nation? Today is super excited. We are going to go ride a scooter. Well, Leah's gonna drive us for only the second time in her life on these hilly streets of San Francisco. So we've been seeing these little blue mopeds like all over the city. And every day we pass one near our house and I'm always like, we have to do that. Right now we're here in the Russian Hill neighborhood, kind of near downtown. And we're here to rent a moped. We are here and supposedly there's one bike that's just to our left. I think it's up the hill. All right, now we gotta walk up the hill, which is a lot easier than when Leah's gonna drive up this hill. So are you nervous? A little bit. Like, <laughs> I'm really excited to drive the moped, just because I think mopeds are really fun. The only time I've ever driven one was actually in Greece, but we didn't even film that day, so I have no proof that I've actually done it before. The thing I'm most worried about are the hills, obviously. And because I made such a fuss, like, oh, I can't wait to drive a moped, Zach, oh my gosh, we're gonna do mopeds one day, we're here. We signed me up as the driver, but that means I'm gonna have Zach on the back. So I don't know how that works. I've never driven with a passenger before. And these hills are kind of like, Ugh. Lots of trees, lots of hills. All right, so these e-bikes came to the city about a year ago. They are currently in seven other US cities, but there's a lot of controversy surrounding them because they go really fast. It's like 30 miles per hour. They started in New York City and they first came to Oakland and Berkeley. Now they're in San Francisco. That's pretty cool. I like that they're electric. Mm -hmm. And I like that on the app you can tell like how much charge each one has. So it shows you like how far you can go. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just like really convenient, you know, if you don't have a car. But to get to one, you have to walk up these huge hills. And we could have rented one right beside our Airbnb, but we wanted to come downtown today to really test ourselves. So I guess so Zach could really test me and my driving abilities. Whoa. This is what we're talking about, steep hills, I'm out of breath. These are steps up the hill, because the sidewalk is too steep. Okay. This is it. This is the one. Hopefully I don't kill us. Hopefully this goes well and we all survive. For the record, this is probably the worst place to be doing this. I'm not sure why we had to do it here today, but uh, here we are, so. Okay, this is how it works. You have to unlock it. Helmet case unlocking. Helmet case unlocking. Yeah. It's real hard. Hold it. <laughs> Hold it. Let go of everything else. <laughs> you said to push real hard. You said to push real hard. I don't like this idea anymore. I don't like it. Okay, so I just try to think that we were stealing it. <laughs> Helmets unlocked is the first thing. Obviously, you gotta be safe on this uh, device. So, let's see. It doesn't want you to do it? Well, it's not letting me unlock the, uh... I don't know. Okay, let's just like back out and try and do this again. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign that we shouldn't do it. No? This is, this is like the universe saying like, we can't unlock this in helmets, meaning you can't go on this trip, meaning you shouldn't do it. <laughs> Tomo, are you nervous? Are you yeah, like, I'm really nervous. Well, the fact that like we almost pushed this thing over is not good. And it's really cold. We didn't really factor in the cold, did we? So this is the universe telling us not to do it. Um, we nearly made this thing fall over and there's something in my eyeball and we can't get it to unlock and there are huge hills on these streets and a lot of traffic. But I think this is a bust and I think we should just go down to Ghirardelli Square and start there. <laughs> and to make up for this failed attempt, we're gonna go get some ice cream instead. See you, bye. 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 <sighs> Oddly enough, we've made like 200 videos by now and this has never happened. We've never done something that's been canceled. If it is canceled, we're like, we're not filming today. But yeah, that's not true. We have totally canceled. We have totally canceled we what? Have, we have. Give me one, give me one thing we've totally canceled. 
they're not coming to mind right now. Because we haven't done it. We always follow through. You guys are worth it. And we just, I would have probably taken over the bike if Listen. we would have been in a different country. But because it's San Francisco, I'm like, she's already going to be scared on the back of the bike. Well, this so is she's just a, a terrible place to do this. Well, there are hills. You know, it was going to be an experience for all of us. We we're all going to learn from Leah's mistakes that hopefully didn't end in our sudden death. <laughs> right. But now we don't exactly. have to. And we're going to get ice cream and cookies instead. Yeah. The universe is saying yes to that. <laughs> no to the bike. So this isn't just any random ice cream shop. There are like 25 different types of ice cream to choose from in San Francisco. There's ones with small ice crystals, there's ones with big ice crystals, there's frozen yogurts, there's places with like crazy, crazy ice cream sandwiches. This place happens to be the first ice cream place me and Leah ever came to. So it's got a special place in our heart. There used to only be two in the country, one in Los Angeles on Hollywood Boulevard, and then one here at the original Giardelli shop. So that's where we're headed next. It's not a random thing. We love this place and we are so excited. It also has some dark history to it. Which dun, we'll dun, tell dun. you about when we get there. <laughs> That old room is closed now, but it was right there. Yeah. All right, so that place is closed. So I guess we're walking to a different shop. We are still on the hunt for the Sunday. Like, th I remember it being the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. This one? I No, I remember it being like, like, ra like raspberry or cherry. What? Yeah. And they have one of those, I'm pretty sure. I think it was this one. I got like the black cherry vanilla ice cream with hot, yeah, fudge and like all the stuff. It's crazy. Which one did you get? I thought I got the one with brownies. You probably did. This is my section. These were my original obsession with Giordelli, like the milk chocolate chips. And then I moved on to these and I was like, okay, how much farther can I go? And now I'm at Bitter Sweet Chocolate. I really enjoy eating these by themselves. All the classics. This one is really good, but this one is definitely the best. And look, this chocolate gets this amazing view every day. Oh my gosh, I want to work here. Like, this is awesome. You see the boats over there and Alcatraz? This place kind of feels like Disneyland, honestly. Like the theme music playing, everyone's all excited to be paying ridiculous prices for ice cream. And like, it's just, it's just so fun to be in this part of the city because like this is where the tourists are. And we've been in the residential area for most of the time we've been in San Francisco. So this is completely different than what we're used to. Okay, so I don't know how much I've ex actually explained about this place, but Deerdelly Square is a really hilarious place in Zach and I's very young relationship back in like 2014. So we were taking a road trip from Texas all the way to Washington State so we could work a summer job. And we stopped here in San Francisco for like four hours max. Like I don't even think we were here in the city that long. So we did this like mad dash across San Francisco. Zach brought me here to Giardelli Square and we got ridiculously priced Sundays, just like we did today. But we happened to be having like a super cringy like one year into the relationship argument about vegetables. We had never been on a road trip together and we were traveling all this way, like five days in the car, and we finally had a breakdown where we were like fighting about something stupid, vegetables. And I just remember sitting in front of like a $12 Sunday, just being like, my boyfriend doesn't understand me. It's just so cringy to like look back on it. It's so hilarious. So Deerdelly Square is a hilarious place in Zach and I's relationship. And I just think it's so great that we're back here and we're giving it a chance to redeem itself. This is the Sunday that we both got. Well, it's actually like a combination. So we got a brownie Sunday, which is what Zach got, but we got the cherry vanilla ice cream, which is what I had. And I'm just so happy that we're able to do this and let it redeem itself because last time was a disaster. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Now, is this worth the price? I don't really know. Definitely, <laughs> you guys, if I'm on the other end of this, it definitely is. There's so much chocolate. Like, on a ratio of ice cream and chocolate, I think there's more fudge in this than there is ice cream. What? That was a, oh, shot to the heart. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's just as good as I remembered it. Tastes like Disneyland, tastes like Disney World, tastes like San Francisco, I don't even know. 
Like this is what I want when I go on vacation, honestly. Just like a big cup of stuff that's really, really bad for you. Mm. And the brownie is like fudge. It's not even cakey. It's like the most dense brownie you'll ever have in your life. And so you have hot fudge that's super thick, and then you have a brownie which is even thicker, and then you have ice cream which is frozen custard which is even thicker. This cup of ice cream is $14. Like, it's just a to-go cup and a plastic spoon, but it tastes amazing. And the view behind me is just like, ah, oh, literally the cherry on top. I can't wait to go down there and there's like ice cream flying everywhere. I thought it was bird poop. I can't wait to go down there and see those boats because apparently they're over 200 years old. I was like having a meltdown the last time we were here, but it's so beachy, you know? Like, is this like a maritime museum right now? Oh, and it's closed. I've been to San Francisco many, many times. So I've been to this pier like four times and I was really excited to bring Leah here because she had no idea. It's a national park. I didn't know that. The national park existed this close to the city, but unfortunately it's closed. One thing that's really cool though is that the sailboat, not sailboat, the ship behind me, the second one back there, actually takes people out and spends the night on the ocean or the bay. It's kind of crazy. They have a contract with the Boy Scouts and they take girls and guys out there to spend the night and just like be on a sailboat. I think that's so cool. All right, we were like over three today. We couldn't get on the motorcycle. The chocolate factory was actually closed, so we couldn't even take you inside there. And now the Boat National Park is closed, the Maritime Museum. So I don't even know what to show you. We're gonna go back to some nostalgia now. My grandparents met here over 70 years ago. That's crazy. So now we're gonna go, Leah's never seen it, to the apartment that they met in. Aww. Like, it's gonna be so cool. It's just really surreal. My grandmother was from Ohio and my grandfather was from Minnesota and they both joined the Marines and they met here. All the way across the universe basically in 1945. In San Francisco. What? <laughs> Guys, okay, instead of a scooter next time, we need to get Leah to drive one of these. What is that? <laughs> and now we're going up the hill. Can you take a left here? I don't think I can. I think you can. No, I can't. Yeah, you can. I'm not allowed to. Go, just go ahead down now oh my gosh guys okay so leah said because she couldn't take the scooter down we are going to take our car down lombard street which is the steepest road in the world i this. love it look at these hairpin turns hairpin turns. you could have done this on the scooter no i could not have i've been very mad at you <laughs> actually i've been really cool on the scooter but this is still pretty cool. People live off of this street? Yeah. This, this is a real street that in other words would have been a park, but yeah. they made it a street because you could just go down and back and there's like a park in the middle of it. They actually decided a couple years ago that they're gonna put a tax, like make this a toll road to go down. What? But then the city fought against it and it never actually happened because obviously all the tourists want to do what we're doing right now because yeah. like, what is this street? It would just be so crazy to be like parking your car to like get out and live right on this street. Yeah, your driveway this is, is just, right there. This is wild. All right, and we've come down the street, literally one street, and we parked in this building right here in front of you, Leah, is where my grandma and grandpa met. They met on the fifth floor in the middle. They looked over Sutter Street. One. Two, three, four, five? Or is the fifth floor up there because they didn't count the ground floor? One of those two, they met right in the middle and they used to come down here on payday and eat dinner at the Italian restaurant. That is so sweet! Do you feel like you really are a product of San Francisco? I, I just feel so far removed from that because my family is like from the farms of Minnesota, so this yeah. feels like a completely different life. But without San Francisco, you wouldn't even be here. And I wouldn't have met you and we wouldn't have this channel. Ah, full circle! I mean, it makes sense that there's like so much chocolate because it's from Giardelli, right? Like, that's the reason why you go is for the chocolate. Hmm? Darn good. Mm -hmm. 